Milo and Prickly the Porcupine. It's recess, children. Have fun playing. <laughs> Judith, let's go see Pick Pick. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Pick Pick! <laughs> Pick Pick, where are you? Pick Pick! Pick Pick? Pick Pick! That's strange. Usually he comes when we call him. Yoo-hoo! Pick Pick! Huh? <gasps> ah. Hey, here he is, Judith! Where is he? Look down here! Oh, yeah! Uh, what's he doing? Shh. He looks asleep. But it isn't nighttime. What's, what's going, going on? on? Oh. Well, now, children, what's happening here? Teacher, Big Big's not moving this morning. Oh, no? Big Big? Hmm. I'm afraid I have some bad news for you, children. Pick Pick won't wake up anymore, and he won't eat anymore. Well, then what's he going to do? He won't do anything. Pick Pick's dead. Oh. Oh. And tomorrow will he still be dead? Yes, Judith. When someone dies, it's forever. Oh, poor Pick Pick. But why do we all have to die? Well, we die because we live. That's nature. We're born, we grow up, and then we die. Now we can bury him, if you want to. Bury him? Okay. <laughs> Goodbye, poor little Pick Pick. What's the matter, Milo? I want Pick Pick to come back. That's impossible, sweetheart. Pick Pick won't be coming back, but he will always be in your heart and in your memories. <laughs> yeah, but what if I forget? Well, if you like, we could make something to remember him by. Like what, Dad? I've got an idea. We could make a little album of drawings in memory of Pick Pick. Oh, yeah, that's great. And I'm going to make you a nice folder, dear, to keep all your drawings in. Oh, thank you, Mommy! When he wanted to catch insects, Pick Pick would go fast. Ho, ho, ho! I see he was a real rocket. Yeah, and one day the cat wanted to sniff him, but he pricked his nose instead. Just like on a pincushion. Yeah! <laughs> there we're spinning around with him. And there he's in his basket. There he's on the wagon that Giorgio made him. And this one's my favorite memory of all. Pick Pick didn't want to put his paws in the snow. Good job, Milo. You've made some very nice drawings of Pick Pick. Mommy, can I bring my drawings to school tomorrow? Of, of course, course you, you can, can dear. dear. And I'm sure your teacher will be very pleased with them. <laughs> Settle down now, children. Well done, Milo. Now, why don't you all draw your own pictures of Pick Pick for the classroom? Yay! I'm still gonna miss Pick Pick a lot. Yeah, but you know, Judith, he hasn't really disappeared because he's here with us when we draw him. Yeah, I guess you're right, Milo. 